Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, on this episode, I am going to discuss explicit constructors. Now, if you've been using C++ for a while, you probably are aware that constructors can be explicit. And it is considered best practice, has been for quite a while, to make single parameter constructors explicit. So if I've got this single parameter constructor, it takes an integer, and uh, I'm not going to do anything with it. And then I have a function that expects an object of type s. I'm going to use a const reference here because this can be a temporary object. And then in main, I can pass a single integer to this function f, and this is going to invoke an implicit conversion here. And I have w everything turned on with clang, which is why we're getting the C++ 98 warning here. And I'm in C++ 17 mode, if you didn't notice that. So this has been considered best practice for a very long time to make this explicit. And now you get to this compile time error saying there is no implicit conversion from an integer to an object of type s right here, no known conversion. So if you wanted to do this, you have to explicitly create an object of type s, and you can do it this way, or you can use static cast, which static cast can invoke any implicit or explicit conversion that exists. So there we go. I am converting from an integer to an object of type s. And in this, you know, makes a lot of sense in a lot of cases because when I pass an integer to this function and it compiles and I don't get any warning from it because I've got this explicit here, uh, if I take off the explicit, it compiles with no warning. No, no tool is ever going to give you a warning on this. But you might be constructing potentially very expensive objects. And in many like conference talks and stuff, I've complained about the implicit conversions that exist in the standard library. And I'm not going to spend any time today complaining about that. But what I am going to show you is some properties of explicit constructors that you may not be aware of. So I'm going to give this an explicitly named um, default constructor here. Uh, so I'm going to turn off W everything because we're going to get warnings that we don't care about. Okay, now currently I have this function that expects an object of type S. I can actually do this, which you may or may not be aware of. So I can say I want to just default construct the thing that is expected to be there. And that can be really handy in some cases, like if this is expecting something like an optional integer, like this, then I can say just explicitly default to construct the thing that's supposed to be there. I don't care, make it an empty standard optional integer. So the part that you may not be aware of is any constructor can be marked explicit. So in this case, if I make my default constructor explicit, then I'm going to need to compile time error because there's no viable conversion from an empty initializer list to an object of type S. And this goes the other way as well. You can do this if the default constructor is not explicit. If it is explicit, then you can't do it. So if I make it explicit again, then I just can't do this empty braced initialization to construct an object of this type, and I have to be more explicit about what I want to do. That, in a nutshell, is what explicit can do for single parameter constructors and empty constructors. But it can also apply to constructors that take multiple parameters. I'll just forward declare it like this. Now, I can create this with two integers. And if I did not have that s there, then I get this chosen constructor is explicit in copy initialization. If this is not explicit, then I am allowed to do this.
Now I will say I am very much in favor of the single parameter constructors always being explicit. There's just far too many places where implicit conversions can really get us into trouble, cause a lot of unnecessary overhead when we're not paying attention, and it's the kind of thing that there's even special static analysis checks in Clang Tidy to check for something like this. Now, this line of code right here probably exists somewhere in your current code base. It's just far too easy to do some refactoring someday down the road, have a local string object of some sort, and you call C string on it because at one time this expected a const character pointer, but now it takes a standard string, and you do a string to C string to string conversion, and this is all possible because standard string has an implicit single parameter constructor. So I'm very much in favor of making all of our single parameter constructors explicit. But the question I have for you today, viewer, is do we think that all constructors should be explicit by default and we only allow these implicit conversions from braced initializer list in specific cases? So leave a comment and tell me what you think. And thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.